All right, I'm making a mold for my uh, rocket stove mass heater, and I've created a, a mold that has kind of an outer box and an inner box to kind of further define the frame. This is going to be filled with 20% uh, concrete and 80% perlite. It is a 6 inch system with 4 inches of concrete surrounding. So the height of this box here is going to be 14 inches. That's uh, 6 inch plus 8 inch for the two sides of concrete and uh, this is the area I don't know if you can read that or not but the uh, clean out is going to go here and then here's the, the feed and then I've done my uh, heat riser round and then did the heat riser this is this circle here it's the heat riser and then the barrel got a, a 17 gallon barrel that's going to fit here, and then I got an inch and a half on either side of that for it to rest on. And then what I'm eventually going to do is put uh, an opening. This heat riser, the opening will be, well, probably here uh, in the center. So I'll put uh, this wall here. So I'll put an opening in the, it'll be on the top here, and go down about four inches and then exit the side here. I didn't want to, I want to be able to take the heat riser and have it be able to be taken off. Uh, I want the barrel to be completely stock without anything carved in the side of it. So I want everything, I'm making the base my complicated part. Uh, this part here is going to go on the inside of the, uh, Let's see, it's going to go inside here, four inches from the bottom. So I'm going to put, uh, make a, a rather thick mixture, the kind where you, you, know, you can basically make a, a, a just, just damp enough to make a clod, but if you squeeze it, it'll break. So I'm going to put four inches of that down, and then I can rest this on top. This is the feed chamber. Heat riser is going to sit uh, and fit into this little section here. And when, I, when I'm putting the concrete in, this will be up against the front wall here, and then I'll push this up, fill concrete all around it, and then this will be the top of the uh, of the concrete base, and then the, the, this will be the where the f the uh, fuel goes in here. For the moment, uh, that'll be sitting in there, and then after an hour after I make my concrete and fill it up to this level here, I'll pull this out and then there'll just be a, a, an opening for the heat riser and an opening for the feed in the top of my concrete. And then when my base gets all the way done and it'll be level here with my opening and my opening, uh, then I can you know, let it cure and then uh, it's going to be a week in, uh, wrapped up in plastic and then three weeks to just uh, dry and cure fully. And then I'll take the wood frame off. I'll probably unscrew this and then all the things around the base and then this guy since with this being off should separate you know un like widen and then pop off and then I'll pop the base off leaving nothing but concrete that's the plan anyway and then this part here as I burn fuel in it will burn away and the exterior diameter is six inches square for this part and this part uh, and then this is a six inch uh, flue, which is just stock, you know, stock six inch, uh, you know, it's got the seam in it that folds together, you know, just like, like it comes from the hardware and this is the cheap stuff. Because it's eventually, it doesn't matter how good a quality, from what I understand, it's all going to burn away and fall into the chamber anyway. Which is another reason I wanted to clean out, so uh, I have to figure out a door for that guy. And then, uh, let's see, hang on. Oh. All right, this here is going to go here on the side 
where uh, I'm going to construct a, uh, a thing for uh, another void in here and hopefully this will attach to it if my plan goes according to, if, I, if my plan works. And then, uh, sorry I'm not showing you. This will go here and then I can use a stock part here. I don't think this might be a vent or something. And then that'll go here and then just slide in. And then this will hook up to regular flue pipe and I'll route my flue pipe however I want. So yeah, it's, it's a really complicated base, but I, I want to make a base that I can have a reusable uh, uh, mold, hopefully. And then I can try different mixes of concrete if I need to. Uh, the 20% perlite, the 80, I'm sorry, 20% concrete and 20, 80% perlite is my first and cheapest route. If uh, that doesn't work, I'll go to more expensive things like using the, uh, um, oh, fire clay and that sort of thing. So, anyway, there we are. And uh, maybe I'll take another movie when I get it all molded up and mold removed and everything else. But that's the plan so far. All right, here's the final form for the base. Uh, this crazy contraption over here is something I came up with. When the barrel is sitting on top, roughly outside of this here, uh, the flue gas needs to exhaust. And I thought rather than cut into the side of my barrel, which is there, uh, I thought I would keep the barrel intact and if I need to replace it at some time, uh, I can. And then it all exhausts through here and then let me remove this which I will I'll remove that after about an hour also so that's where we are uh, these guys are going to be sitting on four inches of concrete right now they're sitting up on four inch pieces of two by four just to kind of give me an idea and make sure that this level here is going to be level and and hopefully this all works I'm going to be uh, using motor oil as a release agent for uh, form and I explained how that all comes apart later on so another stage of the game well today I was able to pour concrete I made a little bit different recipe for this part this is the, uh, the mold that I made earlier and now you can see it with concrete in it I spilled a little bit in the bottom but I should be able to get that out when I uh, down here the clean out extends all the way to here, so when I take the mold off, there'll be a space for a clean out. I had this uh, piece of flue pipe down in this hole, and then after a couple hours of sitting there, I uh, was able to pull it out. This is my other little contraption. I'll have to pull all that out, but I'll wait until it uh, cures, and then I'll take the mold apart, and I should have a nice little, I don't know, kind of a key shaped. Uh, base for my um, rocket mass heater. So, that was a fun day today. A lot of work. Uh, my, I'd make a batch of concrete. It was about, uh, let's see, two number 10 tin cans of concrete and three of vermiculite and then a can of water and it seemed to make that right uh, balance of uh, dryness to the mix and I took about three batches to fill the first four inches and then I put all my my little wooden parts in and my you know my flute pipe and then I filled the rest of it took about uh, let's see it was three plus four more so I made about seven batches of concrete and uh, I'm gonna cover this with some plastic here and oh yeah there's my uh, there's my heat riser it seems like it came out okay, and it's sitting an inch and a half uh, below my barrel here. So I'll put my plastic back on and let it sit for a week, and then I'll let it cure for three more weeks. And so at the end of a month, I should be able to start playing with the, the, the mass here. And by that time, I should have my food pipe routed and everything else. So. 
here it is out of the mold. That's the view from the clean out. And the view from the top. I still have to clean that guy out. But uh, I don't know if you can see this on the back. That's where the exhaust for the flue is going to be. I don't know how well you can see that. But, yeah. That's after curing for one week in the mold and with plastic on top. Uh, this is a process where you take the paint off the can and I've made a little rocket stove. You can see that okay. But uh, we've got a little piece of flue that I've kind of cut some wedges out of at the bottom. And then you wrap, you make slip out of clay and water. And you make basically paper mache and you make a newspaper uh, around the sides. And you burn a, a hot can on your, your, uh, your oil drum. Uh, and apparently when the paper burns off from getting so hot that uh, you uh, it takes paint off. So we'll see. Here we are after about a half an hour and uh, this, uh, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the rumble or not. I'll try to get closer. But that is this uh, barrel that I'm going to use. see it. There were, there was flames shooting out of that top of that thing a while ago. But it's uh, it's got really hot. And it's uh it's all that paper mache, I guess, the clay slip and the newspaper has uh, turned black and it's mostly ash now. Uh, pretty uh pretty neat and looks like it might be removing the paint just fine. So well I won't know anything until this fire goes out and I uh get it, uh, what do you call it, cooled off and then cleaned up with some, maybe some uh, sandpaper or some uh, steel wool or something, but I'll, I'm hoping it's going to look really nice and shiny. Okay, bye. Alright, starting the process of routing my uh, flue pipe. Got it running along the floor there, and then it comes up here, and then this end here is going to end up going up. I'll probably angle it up. Uh, when I put the, uh, put the 90 degree joint on it, I'll angle it towards the ceiling. And then this end goes back. I don't know if you can see it. Here's the back of the stove. And that'll join up there. And I gotta cut, I gotta get a, some joint up pieces and, and cut a piece to get that to go. And here's the front. I got a little piece of paper to act as a know a damper and then here is uh, my clean out and that just rests right up there nicely I can always make a little holder there there's my can sitting up on top I had to re-pour my heat riser uh, I, I had my cement mixture was way too wet and I didn't like the fact that it was only 20% uh, uh, cement so this one's a this one's 40% uh, this comes up to be about, it ends up being about an inch and a quarter below the top of my uh, my can here, my uh, barrel. So I think it's, uh, I, I just tested it out. I put a, a paper plate in there and uh, with the can on it and everything. And uh, I was feeling warm air coming out the, uh, coming out the exhaust there. And that was, it was working pretty good. It wasn't smoky at all. And the top of the can was getting warm. This is just from one paper plate. And it was, I didn't see any smoke whatsoever. So, yeah, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see a couple of ashes down there from the paper plate. And that's it. So, first, and it was, and it was drawn and burning sideways on the first plate. And it was like no smoke whatsoever. So, so far, the first indications are pretty good. 
and it seems to be drawing fantastic. So we'll go from there.